So how do I add extra students or extra teachers to an already existing OneNote? I might have forgotten to put some students in. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to your Office 365 homepage and then go to OneNote. Now, if you've used it recently, it'll be in your recent tab. But if you haven't, the easiest way to get to your class notebooks is in your class notebooks tab. If someone shared it with you, you can get it through your link in your emails or in the shared with me section. But if I go to class notebooks, I'm looking for 2020 year 11 drama. And you can see there's lots of different ones I use and they're all worked in a different way. So if I click on this one, it says, welcome to my class notebook. And you can see everything that we've worked on it before. Okay, so what I need to do, what I need to do first is to put some more students in it. So I go to the class notebook section and you can see I can add and remove students. So I'm going to add some extra students. Now this is probably gonna confuse them because some of them aren't gonna be in drama. Select the notebook you want to add students to and so you have to go through it. Remember this one, I've got lots of notebooks. This one I call 2020 Year 11 Drama. Shows you why naming things are really important. So I'm going to add Daniel Ellingham, brilliant. And then I'm also going to add Harry Potter. And I think I'm gonna add Money Penny. So all these students, and I can remove students from this as well. So if I wanted to remove Imogen Crooks, I can take her out. And I can also delete her content. So I'm going to take all these new existing students away and just use sample students next. So adding two new students, did we get it right? Absolutely, please update it. And so they're going to update this classroom notebook. When it's updated, you can just go straight to opening it on one line. So here we go, and you'll see that there's gonna be some changes when it comes through. We've got Harry Potter and we've got Money Penny. Now, if I wanted to add teachers, I go to this class notebook section as well and see where there's this little mortarboard. You can click and add and remove teachers in exactly the same way. It makes life really, really easy.